last night was Capital Food Fight. Um, this was their big fundraiser, and of course, everything looks different this year as we uh, did it in a very safe social distance environment. Tommy and I got to MC it, and it was so much fun to hang with Spike Mendelson and I don't know, Mr. National, Ryan Zimmerman, who was one of the judges. And the best part, of course, that it raised over $400,000 for the D.C. Central Kitchen, which does amazing work in our communities. What an awesome night, too. And Chef Paolo Dunca um, from Peter Chang's Restaurant Group won this year the Capital Food Fight. They have two different chefs compete. And then of the two chef battles, then the final round happens. And normally this happens at the Anthem and there's like a thousand people and it's like crazy town. But this year the DC Central Kitchen um, got scrappy and they made it happen. And it um, was was filmed at Occasions Caterers and they made it happen. It was great. Yeah. I mean, I, the, the biggest challenge for us was being able to hear each other with our masks, which is a <laughs> continual challenge just in life. You know, when you like go to the grocery store, go check out or try to talk to your neighbors that speak really loud. But other than that, it, it went off without a hitch. It was great. It was great to be part of um, that event once again this year. I think it's well, our third year or fourth year doing it. It's our, yeah, it's, I think it's our fourth year. I also love um, being a co MC with you, Kelly, co host of the DC Central Kitchen Capital Food Fight, because it's the one time a year that, like, you're allowed to be in the same room as Ryan Zimmerman without anybody <laughs> asking you why you're in that room. And so you, That's you're not true. Ryan and I are friends and I'm, I'm friends with his wife as well. Like he, he's, before we got started, he stopped down and, totally. and chatted with us. And I mean, I think it's, it's not awkward anymore. Totally. But you know, like it's, uh, I'm saying this, like not, I'm not trying to make you, I'm not trying to embarrass you. I mean, I literally mean it's like the one time we get to be like friendly with him because like normally it would be like, you're interviewing him in the in the clubhouse or it's like on the line people are like there's someone there who's able to be like move it along zim and this <laughs> at, at the central kitchen we're able to be like hey dude how's it going like how's yeah. the kids what's happening yeah yeah it was it was it was great to see him especially since we didn't get to see him on on the uh at Nats Park or on TV watch, playing baseball. So it was great to hang with him. And he's so generous with his time. All the judges there, Chef Riss, um, giving back their... Uh, Riss, Lacoste, Riss Lacoste is awesome. And also Top Chef contestant um, Eric Ajapong was there as well, who I am just a huge fan of now. I only like saw him um, on Top Chef a couple times. And then we got to hang with him as he was one of the judges. Just, to, just, like, the, just like the guy just like drips cool. Like he's just like the coolest guy. Like I was just, it was awesome. And it Spike Mendelson awesome. bringing his energy. I mean, that guy, you just wind him up and let him go. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I felt bad for the camera people because you had you, me, and Spike and seven chefs running around being like, right over here. And there was like fire and there was social distancing. Yeah. So um, it was it was a great night. And DJ Nicola, host of Neeks at Night here on the Real Fun DC channel. She brought the music and brought the fun. So what an awesome, awesome experience for DC Central Kitchen. They raised so much money and their programs are uh, so important now more than ever. Uh, they have seen such an increase in need and such an increase in people, you know, needing their help, whether it's a meal or whether it's, you know, culinary training. They help a lot of men and women who are homeless or help a lot of men and women who have been incarcerated learn job skills and get into the culinary world and into the culinary business and turn their life around. I mean, DC Central Kitchen saves people's lives every single year in so many ways as complex, as simple as giving someone a meal or as complex as setting them up on a trajectory to change their life and their family's lives for generations. It's, it's such an awesome, awesome organization and that they can do what they do without gathering classrooms now is just awesome. Uh, we also have to give a shout out to Jose Andres, who's been part of Capital Food Fight since the beginning. Mm. And he was part of the event, of course, last night and serves um, on their board as well and gives back so much uh, here in our community. And we're so honored to have him part of our DC because he's now like a worldwide celebrity doing amazing stuff all over the globe. Yeah, I don't even know where he checked in from last night. He was on like Jupiter or like <laughs> some, some island or some country or some jungle or some desert or some like national like disaster zone. He was just, I, I swear, to, speaking of Wonder Woman, I swear that guy has like an invisible plane of truth that he just bounces around from place to place in because mm -hmm. you never know. Or maybe there's several of him at this point. Maybe they've cloned him. I don't know. <laughs> they have a whole batch of Jose Andreses that are running around. Yeah, he, he's an incredible. DC Central Kitchen, such a proud proud piece of Washington and uh, we're thrilled to be part of it. So thank you to them for including us in that.